what I can say is now is that with the end game is here. And to my people, I said the gold cartel has blown up. This doesn't mean it ends that night. It's like the London gold pool when it blew up. Gradually, the gold was being taken away, taken away, and they had to change all the rules because the U.S. was running out of physical gold. I think President de Gaulle of France was a big part of that. That's what's happening right now. As a responsible person with growing concerns for your privacy and personal liberty, you want to know where we're headed and what you can do about it. We ask the experts what you need to do to take prudent and responsible action to safeguard your family's wealth and well-being and what basic first steps will help you to be aware and prepared. ReluctantPreppers.com Welcome back to Liberty and Finance and Reluctant Preppers. We have a legendary returning guest. Bill Murphy is with the Gold Antitrust Action Committee, GATA.org. He's a vigilante for the truth and for accountability and free markets in precious metals. He's here with us again to answer your viewers' question. Today is Monday, March 2nd, 2020. Bill, thanks for joining us again. Thanks for having me, Don, again. We've got a ton of questions uh, that have been submitted ahead of your uh, interview here, so we're going to have to move rather quickly through those. But first, if we could just kind of get you to cap for us, maybe in five minutes, what you see as the highest points of a very uh, tumultuous time in the major markets these last couple weeks. Well, first of all, gold has been acting great since the end of May. Uh, Silver is the worst acting market I've ever seen in my life. Eventually, it's going to explode, but not yet. J.P. Morgan's going berserk. This week was obviously sensational. I've never seen anything like it, what I call the gold cartel and what J.P. Morgan did in silver. Silver was at 19 on Friday when it closed. Most traders went home after the COMEX. They attacked it, went straight down. Next day was quiet. They attacked it again when nobody was around. They attacked it again on Thursday and, of course, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, and then and then on Friday, <coughs> we had an absolute tobacco in gold, which was taken off uh, down $160 off its high. The, I mean, everybody was going into gold, not getting out of it, but the gold cartel attacked with the price of uh, gold, what was 1640, uh, 1680 was the high. It was going great. They just buried it, and uh, eventually it caused speculators to, to, to sell at the end because they were getting killed, and the open interest in gold and silver is at all-time highs. But if I might say, from my standpoint, the gold cartel has blown up. It's over. That doesn't mean they can't <laughs> take it down. But the, what's, what, we're, what I'm sure of, they've run out of enough physical gold to keep doing what they do, they're doing, suppressing the price. That's why the gold price went up to 1680 The gold price has changed the way it's traded since last May. All dips are bought. It continues that way. They, they don't have the physical gold to carry on the way they've done. And now they got a situation with the physical gold on fire, in a sense, with interest rates going down to zero, 1%, 1.03% today in the 10-year note. They're, they're, when the stock market's in trouble, people are, are flocking into gold. So what can be done, the easiest way to make money in the whole world is that physical gold is way up. The paper gold, they're trashing on the COMEX. So you just sell the physical gold and you buy the paper gold. And that's why a lot of these dips are being bought because the physical market is so strong. They have just run out of enough supply and all there to, to do what they've been doing. And I, I can't st I've stressed it enough to my people on the Metropole Cafe and hopefully to your listeners. I mean, it's a big, big deal. It's historic. Related question here, a new world forward asks, in times of market panic, gold used to be the safe haven investors flee to as everything else plummets. But this time it seems gold and silver are being sold off together with the stock market in favor of the bond market, which has reached all-time low interest rates. Why do you think that is? Well, I sort of just answered it. It's, I mean, to me, it's obvious because I've been dealing with the gold cartel and how they operate for 20 years. Gold was acting as a safe haven all till, till Thursday night. It was fine. And all of a sudden, somebody hit it for 15 bucks, and it kept on going, and they just kept on going and going. They pressured it, and that caused a panic. The, the physical, nobody was selling physical gold, as far as I know of. They were buying. It was all the gold cartel in the paper market. And the same with silver. J.P. Morgan has full control of that market. They still have it. It's a whole different setup than gold. The gold-silver ratio just went to an all-time high at 96.4 uh, to 1. What's going to happen is the gold price is going to go berserk. And eventually, silver is so cheap, people want to buy cheap silver. I've had friends that talk to me like that. I got to get silver. Gold's too expensive. 
all of a sudden, with gold soaring, there's going to be a surge in the physical gold, and the supply that's available right now will dry up very quickly. A few weeks, gone. And the next thing you know, silver will go berserk and finally break out. I've been talking like this for a long time. We'll break 21 and go towards 100. We've got a uh, question here from James E. If only several major banks control the spot price on gold and silver, what do we see, why do we see the dramatic ups and downs in the price? Good question. It's because right now it's getting much thinner and all dips get bought. The bad guys hit it. The, the speculators come in. Bad guys hit it. The speculators come in. And, 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 and that's what's occurring over and over again. And I expect it's going to continue to be that way. Lately, you know, for people like yourself that watch the gold market, and I watch it all day long and night, it's just, you know, you can, it can change in about 10 seconds. And you get these raids by what I call the cartel. But the physical market is strong, and the buyers are there. The, the gold open interest is still at the old all-time high levels. Silver has now finally come down a bit. There have been big league buyers that have challenged this, what I call the gold cartel, all year long, and the bad guys haven't been able to get them out. That's been the story all along. There's strong buyers taking on the sellers, the gold cartel, the commercials, the bullion banks, the U.S. government that have suppressed the price. We have a question from Nano Russian Bot who says, "Does Bill have any idea what prices are being paid for the very large orders of gold in the private market, say for one ton or more? Does he have an opinion when the West will cease to be able to supply such quantities to the East, other than newly mined gold?" Well, again, great question. I really don't have any answer on the specifics like that, but I know that kind of thing is going on. And as I met, just mentioned, the big players in the world are buying up the physical market. They know that this, what I call the gold cartel, has run out. And the tricks they're using to suppress the price are, are waning. I mean, they've done this thing, which is total mystery, called exchange for physicals. 13,000 contracts a day. Exchange for physical, simplistically, is the easiest thing to understand in the world. You know, you're long a futures contract, you give it up to get the physical. But what they're doing in this thousands of contracts a day, and, and they're disappearing, Nobody knows. And this kind of a trick, whatever it is, and I, even the smartest guys I know have been able to explain it to me, worked and worked for a couple of years. Whatever they were doing, these and these other tricks, they're not working anymore. They've been, they, it doesn't work because they don't have the physical goal. And that's why you're setting up for another spectacular rise, rise in the not too distant future. We have a question here uh, that you get asked almost every time, and it'll be interesting to hear your current take on it. Patrick Clayton says, Bill, I appreciate all your efforts at exposing the levels of manipulation in the pricing of precious metals and the mass fraud being committed with naked short derivative fake gold silver contracts. My question is, when will it end? Well, that's the, in the old days, uh, growing up, the $64,000 question. You know? Can I adjust that for, is that index for inflation? Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. That's a hundred, you know, hundred million dollar question. What I can say is now is that with the end game is here. And to my people, I said the gold cartel has blown up. This doesn't mean it ends that night. It's like the London gold pool when it blew up. Gradually, the gold was being taken away and taken away. And they had to change all the rules because the U.S. was running out of physical gold. I think President de Gaulle of France was a big part of that. That's what's happening right now. And I know it. I can see it. I've been around commodity markets for a long time in my life. I know what's happening. And that's why gold's trading so differently like it's used to. And they're panicking. I call that what they did on Friday and to silver all week is it was a raid to try to get out, try to get specs out so they can cover. They've got to get out of their shorts. They don't get out now. I mean, I mean, they're going to blow. The market will blow up anyway. And I know there'll be a certain people that, that won't leave. But J.P. Morgan is too corrupt. And I say criminal enterprise because that's what the Justice Department called them. They're the major short that have devastated silver for nine years. They've got to get out of silver on this raid that they just pulled down as the specs get out, or they're never going to get out. And the open interest in silver has just come down about 45,000 contracts, so that's in a process. This is on the other side of this, assuming that we do get a continued breakout uh, in metal, metal prices going forward to uh, appreciable highs. 
Rigor4830 asks, how will we know when to sell or trade our gold and silver when that time comes? <laughs> I hope I'm still alive when that time comes. I mean, the thing is, it's been down for so long and it's been so, it's so cheap. I mean, gold's expensive to silver, but it's so cheap. You know, it's go- all time highs in every country, but the U.S. and I guess Switzerland. It's just beginning when it takes out, you know, 2000 it's going to go nuts like other markets do. And, you know, where's the top? 3,000, 4,000, 5,000? Will the government have to reset the markets like some people in our camp think to 5,000 or some higher number? I don't know. But it's just beginning. And people will have plenty of time to take some profits and ride the rest of it to, to the moon. And uh, finally, we have one question here from Rain Bird who says, Bill, what has been harder? Being a wide receiver and taking those hits or the 20 years of hits from the pundits and, and the antics of the bullion bank cartel? Thanks for what you have endured. Uh, well, thank you for the comment. Yeah, I remember the old days and I was one of the last guys to play in the, in the foot pro, pro leagues with one one face mask, you know, one bar. Everybody else has two bars. I had one bar. I wasn't I wasn't thinking too clearly. Now, I'll tell you what's been the toughest is being wrong on silver for the past five years. I never dreamed that the J.P. Morgan could control it at these low prices for so long. That said, I've never been more excited and bullish that the end is near because of gold exploding, like I tried to explain, and that silver just could, the supply will dry up and will follow. It's been a long time, you know, waiting, you know, waiting for that to happen. Well, Bill, uh, before uh, we wrap, just wondered if there's anything else that your current research is is revealing maybe about a bigger picture than just the current market action that we should be aware of so that we can be aware of what's uh, coming so that we can be prepared for that. Well, I think I got a lot of it in, but I think I can mention the stock market activity, which is bonkers. I mean, of course, you had the big collapse and then today the biggest Dow gain ever. And meanwhile, everyone has different ideas about this coronavirus, but it's spreading all over the place. And the government is been behind our market, the plunge protection team, for a while, for many, many years, creating, you know, false uh, upward uh, prices. Uh, a year ago, December, Treasury Secretary Mnuchin called in the plunge protection team. I understand there's an emergency meeting tomorrow with Fed Chairman Powell. They come in and keep lifting the market like they did today. Last night, they, uh, yesterday afternoon, right into the close, they ran it right up and it backed off again. The next thing you know, it was up 1,300. It's like, and you know, it's going right back up again. Well, this is creating a scene, if I can correct, that's going to create chaos when the economic situation, all the debt, and maybe the coronavirus and all these other issues take place. And people are going to be stunned at what it might do. And from my standpoint, this is, you know, going to add to the gold price explosion because, I mean, zero percent interest rates in the stock market that, you know, has already gone up eight, 10 years to the moon and it's been propped up. And, and you got, you know, gold is, you know, is what it is for historic sake, you know, 5000 years, whatever you want to say. And everyone's going to want it all over the world, including the Russians, the Chinese and the Indians. And it's not there <laughs> in terms of being able to stop the price rise. So. I couldn't be more excited, honestly. I mean, I'm sick of these, what I call the gold cartel, doing what they've done all the time, and it's 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 aggravating beyond comprehension. But I know the end is near. Well, we've been speaking with Bill Murphy, and Bill, we're always glad for your presence here with us and keeping an eye on what's uh, going on in the gold and silver markets and letting us know about uh, basically unnatural price action that you're seeing and how people can put some context and perspective around what we're seeing so that we can understand enough better to uh, make sense going forward. Always glad for you joining us here on Liberty and Finance and Reluctant Preppers. Don't again, you do a great job. Thanks for having me on. Reluctant Preppers provides educational awareness and commentary only. Opinions expressed do not constitute personalized financial advice. Viewers are encouraged to do their own research and seek qualified personal financial consultation before making investment decisions.